Hi lovelies, how are you all doing? Thank you for joining me here on No Meat Wednesday. I am excited about this dish. It's one of Jamaica's traditional recipes and it has survived many generations. Barbadians call it cow cow or koo koo, forgive the pronunciation. In African countries it is called pap, nisimia and ugili. Italians call it polento and describe it as their version of grits. Jamaicans call it turn corn meal. The name describes exactly how the meal is prepared. There is a constant stirring of the cornmeal until this dish is ready to be eaten. Turn cornmeal is basically a savory dish of boiled cornmeal. This dish can be made with cornmeal, salt, and water, but watch me how I make it Jamaican style. These are the ingredients that we will be using. In a pot of your choice, add two tablespoons of olive oil, add the diced onions and bell peppers, and let them saute until the onions are translucent. The ingredients I use to flavor the cornmeal might shock you, but they pair perfectly with the grainy, somewhat dry consistency of this staple food. These ingredients make the cornmeal moist, flavorful, and create texture. That's coming up next. Add a few cuts of scotch bonnet pepper. If you don't have scotch bonnet pepper, you can substitute it for black pepper or any pepper of your choice, or you can leave the pepper out if you don't like spicy food. But I'm adding a few cuts, just enough for taste. Add one cup of water, a cube of chicken broth, This can of coconut milk is approximately one cup and I'm going to pour it all in. Add a few sprigs of thyme. Add a little more zest with a dash of ginger. One cup of mixed vegetable and a tablespoon of butter. Guys, the aroma is so festive. I could drink this for soup just as it is. That's how delicious it tastes. So you wanna taste your pot, ensure that enough salt is added. When adding salt or any other ingredient to that matter, add them in small portions. This will give you control over how your dish will taste when you're finished cooking. The final and most important ingredient, the refined cornmeal. Guys, this is how we're going to do it. We're going to add the cornmeal to the liquid and we're going to do it in small amounts. While you add the cornmeal, just constantly stir it into the liquid until it dissolves. If you don't stir, the cornmeal will become very lumpy. What we want to accomplish is a smooth texture and to do that, we have to constantly stir the cornmeal into the liquid until they're fully combined. The method is similar to whisking eggs. Constantly use your wrist and you should be okay. Adding these flavors really excites the dish and it adds more moisture and flavor to it. I've seen persons use kidney beans and today I've replaced that ingredient with mixed vegetables. So the choice is yours, guys. The options are endless. I would love to hear from you. Let me know if you've ever prepared cornmeal like I'm doing it here. Share your feedback in the comments down below. 
and let's chat about it. Cornmeal takes some time to cook guys. So to ensure that it is cooked properly, just leave it covered on low heat for about 20 minutes and then just check up on it, give it a stir to ensure that it's not burning. And guys, this is the end result of my turn cornmeal. I love it moist and juicy, just like what you're seeing here. I'm going to serve it up with some garlic shrimp. It looks so delicious. I just want to grab one of those tails and have it right now, but I'll wait. I'll definitely wait. I think it will pair perfect with the turned cornmeal. We have done it again. Thank you, my lovelies. Thank you, my friends. Thank you, my family. Thank you to people near and far. I appreciate your support. Thank you for being here with me today on No Meat Wednesday. I will see you on Saturday's best. Please remember to like, share, comment, subscribe, ring the bell so you won't miss out on any of the recipes I present here. The recipes are easy, affordable, and I promise you that they are healthy. So, what good? Peace.